handsome? You're handsome. Handsome You're beautiful. boy. Friends and family, welcome back to another episode of Working On It. We are blessed by Riley's presence today. What's up, dude? Say, Dada's in the gym. Dada's in the gym. Yeah. Here, Look I can. the mic. Dada's in the gym. So I'm here. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. right. Nice. You're doing a great job. Yay, Riley. Let's get big. Were you on Let's TV? Get big. Let's get big. <laughs> you were on TV with Mama, right? <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing so well, good. we just got back from New York New City. New York City, right? Did I bring you a toy airplane? Yeah, it says New York on it. Huh? huh. He loves it. I told you, I said, I'll bring you back a toy. <laughs> you have to talk when the mic goes yeah. to the mouth. You have to be you like, have to ba, 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 I'm Riley. Oh. That, that was my door. <laughs> that was not his head. Not his head. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. So we just got back. From New York. You know what it is? He doesn't have headphones. He can't yeah, hear himself. he can't hear us. Do you want to hear what it sounds like? Yeah. Okay, careful. Don't push away. Okay, how does that sound? Is that good? <gasps> Do you hear It's probably mama? way too loud because mama's headphones are way too loud. Do you hear mama? That's that cool, right? That was cool, huh? Yeah. You want to do it again? Yeah. Okay. Now speak in the now mic. Can, say hi. Now you can say something. Hi. Oh, yeah. Say, Mama went to New York. Mama went to New York. On a big airplane. On a big airplane. And we saw taxis. And we saw taxis. And we went and did promo. Yeah. Yeah, because we were promoting. And you saw Mama on TV. Yeah, I saw Mama on TV. And were you on TV? Yeah. Yeah, you were on TV. You looked so awesome on TV. Were you singing on TV? Yeah. Yeah, you sing your mama's new song, Ben Like This. Who's yeah. singing that song with mama? Who's the guy on the song? T Pain? Yeah, T Pain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good T-Pain. job, Riley. I was editing the music video last night, and he walks by and goes, Hey, that's T Pain. And I was like, Yeah, it is. Legend. Well, it turns out Daryl Sabara is also a legend because oh, T Pain hyped him up T-Pain. for about forty-five minutes on his Twitch. T Pain was drunk on Twitch <laughs> and was like, "I'm gonna expose you," and I loved it. I loved it. He fangirled hard, and we were freaking out because he's he, been very chill, very chill in person, man. Little did we know, I he was, was freaking like, out about the Spy Kids. Like, oh man, maybe T Pain didn't watch Spy Kids. Like I get it, but he has kids, so like, did they not watch it? And then he showed. His true self, his true fangirl moment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it yeah. was the best. It's the greatest clip of all time that I've personally, like, I've ever seen. And uh, Daryl's been playing it every day since. Yeah, yeah. He, it's his ringtone. Yeah, do, uh, yeah. Does he start his day with it? Because I would. I would, yeah, he I would does. play it every day. He goes, Hey, do you remember when T Pain <laughs> exposed me? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, you're pretty cool. <laughs> every now and then he gets reminded how cool he is. But I like to keep him humble, especially when he cheats on me with Chipotle. What does that mean? What does that mean, cheat on you with Chipotle? Why can't the man eat Chipotle? He can eat Chipotle. It's just like when I'm on a mission to train yeah. like an athlete, yeah. like I'm I'm going to the Olympics for tour, and he's also coming on tour. Mom was like, why didn't he do promo? I was like, you're absolutely right. He um, did. He was on TV, Kelly and Mark. Oh, yeah, he was on the side. And he was joined for Elvis Duran. Oh, uh, yeah, he did promo. Come on, now there's just a lot. There well, was no. a lot. We went to MSG. We took pictures. We oh, got oh, together oh. with Natasha Benningfield, with Paul Russell. And Chris Olsen and Ryan. And Ryan had his first day of promo. A little splash. A little, let's take some pics, do some videos. And afterwards, Ryan was exhausted. I was you? overwhelmed, dude. I thought it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Dude. Makes, Being an influencer is very, very difficult, man. People really knock your, on it. Your nervous system is on 12. Yeah, know? on a million. But I will say my anxiety has finally reached a nice level through sobriety, possibly the step work. I felt, even though, you know, I was freaking out during the picks, but internally, I wasn't feeling a panic. Yeah. Internally, I felt calm. I thought you were pretty good. I was like, like we're going to get first, through this. It was tough because we started with pictures, and no one wants to take a picture. You know? Yeah, in front of a bunch of strangers. And fuck, yeah, and I, of I haven't done a lot of photo shoots, okay? We've done one You've done with one. Jen to yeah. redo this That was cozy picture. at home. This Very, was yeah. in MSG with his face on the big, oh, where are you going? Oh, goodbye, Riley. Bye. Yeah, on the big, um, you know the middle, m- 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 middle thing. Ooh, stroke. We okay. The uh, jumbotron. <laughs> the jumbotron. Yeah, that's what sports has. 
Um, yeah, his face was up there, and we were like, take a picture, you superstar. And Ryan looked at me and goes, what do I do, huh? We well, I saw it. Paul Russell kind of do some, like, cool yeah, right. moves. You are not Paul Russell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, right? what, that's what I figured out. You are? Ryan. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and then, but I, so I, first of all, it's the greatest vlog I've taken so far because Megan grabs the camera and films this whole process. It's gold. It's, it's, it's really, it's actually <laughs> top tier content. Uh, so I'm moving lightning speed cause I'm like, imagining just the like, guy you know, getting every li like little moment yeah, possible, you know but he's you just like, like pose and then pose. I don't know how long one. to pause. So Ryan, I am just moving. Ryan's doing the robot <laughs> and I go, calm it down, my boy. <laughs> Try it slower. Yeah. Okay, so you're going too fast with like, I can't take the picture yeah. because you're moving. You're moving <laughs> you're the entire time. In motion. I was going for like that Gen Z kind of like, blurry thing. That's what? not what they're looking for. Okay. They're That's not trying not. to, you know, it can't be a for cool. A headshot. Right. <laughs> I wish you could play just that moment. It was so I mean, good. Yeah, there you well, go. Well, okay. Yeah. That's something. Don't go too fast. He's okay. got to take the pic, right? Okay. Yep. Uh, but check out his vlog. What's your YouTube channel? Ryan Trainer, but I think I had to do like Ryan Trainer T or something because mm. Ryan Trainer was taken. But of course, you can find it. Did you want to say something, Riley? Yeah. What do you want to say? Say, go check out my mom's song. He's nervous. It's okay. No. Um, but what? So mom wanted Daryl to jump into those. I yeah. felt awkward because I'm not really the big ticket. I'm not the big ticket name on there. Um. What else? We yeah, so I, I didn't feel like I needed to be in any of the promo stuff, but I guess my name was on the Dude, jumbotron. And then Natasha Bedingfield, what an amazing talent and person she is. Yeah. She looks at me so brave and goes, "We should sing. These acoustics are great." I go, "Huh?" I said, "Oh, sweet Natasha, uh, your voice is so much better than mine." And she was like, "No, it isn't." And I was like, "Yes, it is." Um, and then we did, we, I hope we don't post these, but we all got together and sang each other's song. Bro. So we all got together and sang like, I'm going to lose you. Everyone bailed on me and I'm singing alone. Yeah. I lip sing. I'm like, I'm going to love, I'm screaming. It's such a hard song to sing. Yeah. You were like, she was like, what song should we sing? And I was like, Kumbaya. <laughs> like, not ours. She, she comes up to me first and goes, should we go? I keep on falling. I was like, No. <laughs> Absolutely not. So we sing like, I'm going to lose you. Everyone bailed on me. I hope I don't have to post that. Uh, and then we all got together for Natasha's song. And we literally in a group huddle, we're like, staring at the blank page before you. And we're all British. And I me peaked. and Ryan are like, what are we doing I was here? singing unwritten with singing Natasha Benningfield. Yeah. And after Ryan came up to me, like a <laughs> screaming fangirl, and was like. <laughs> I was grabbing Megan's. I was like, oh my God, can you believe what just happened? <laughs> It was insane, uh, dude. Because I remember being a kid in the car. <laughs> I remember being a kid in the car with Don't mom. We would just be sitting. Had that bang, bang. I know the only person I missed was mama. She would have died for I that know. moment. Damn it. I was like, you missed Sorry, nothing, mom. dude. It was awful. That was the most magical moment <laughs> was, of our lives. Yeah, we were like in MSG, <laughs> just no one there, just young Megan and Ryan just singing Natasha, freaking out. God. Feel the rain on your yeah, skin. skin. Dude, I'm no belting it too. Yeah. I was just in it. I got yeah, lost. Yeah, we had to. We were a, a choir together. <laughs> um, and then we all did one for Paul. We did, you're my little boo thing. <laughs> but I've been singing his hit like this. I mean, you're my something I don't know. But when I know. I've been singing it like that. So then when I had to sing it for real, I was like, hey, best friend, <laughs> what are those words exactly? You know? Yeah. And he's like trying to teach it to me. And then I was like, I got it. I felt bad. I was like, well, I learned it like, yum, 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 yum. I've been doing vowels. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, there are words, and they're very good. Yeah, the guy's a fine, lyricist, though. man. His new shit, very, very good. Oh, my God. He, played he it teased for Megan. us the new song. Yeah. Paul Russell. It's going to be huge. It's such a good talented, song. Talented, talented dude. So talented. Such a sweetheart. He also married a Megan with an H, so he's a good guy, and you know that. You know, I was like, oh, you're a good person. Love him. Can't get enough. Um, what else did we do in, in New York? God, it was three days of like. We went to Dune 2. Every, we went to Dune 2, but we went to every radio station there ever was. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing promo. And it worked because on the plane right back, they played Ben Like This on Sirius XM. Hits one. Love you. They played it four times on my five hour flight. I was like, are we every hour on the hour? So I love you. 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 It's time. Um, but then we did. We walked the streets of Times Square, New yeah. York. No makeup, so no one knew who I was because I transformed. Um, Justin and, Sylvester barely knew who you were. Yeah, Justin Sylvester. He's been on our show 
Love him. He ran by us with all these cameras, and I was like, Jackson! That's my reaction to scream like yeah. a character. You all right? Again, great moment oh, in the tag. vlog. Great moment. It's a tag. Every shirt has a tag. Isn't that weird? And then uh, you then try- we saw Dune, too. Well, you know, as we're walking in, uh, Elmo wanted to hug you. Some, <laughs> Do you have this some human- to show? We could pop it in. Pop some it in. some human, uh, sweet sweet human in an Elmo, Elmo costume, costume. wanted that, to hug Megan. Megan had just showered. I just We're showered. Walking, it's cold. There's a lot of elements. There's I a lot like, of things happening. A lot of things slowed down for me in that right. moment. It went slow mo, and I took a really good look at this Elmo costume, and I was like, "That's dirty," you know. I was like, "That's not clean." I don't know if I want to hug after I just got clean, and so I, the tag is gone. I in a panic. Dive, dip, and dodge, Elmo. There's a tag. <laughs> I dip Elmo. I go, oh, no, thank you. You said no, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you were very nice about it, you know? Felt bad because. Elmo just wanted they a came, hug. They came in with fire and they just went, come here. And I was like, what part of me it says like I want to hug you right 40 now? 40 yards. Oh, yeah. Arms. Elmo want a hug. And I went, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. And, and then he, after I was like, "Am I a bad person?" Because <laughs> no, I no. didn't hug Elmo. It's a great clip. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. And then we went in. We got popcorn, popcorn. and this candies. Was, now, okay. what did uh, Daryl got? What a bunch every, of candy and every churro? candy in the store. He got mm. it all. Uh, he's a candy boy, and so like I'm the popcorn person. He's the candy person. But I said, "There's four days on this trip. Let's eat one bad meal. Let's try to be good." Let's I remember that. And then you guys used the first night as the bad meal, right? No, second day, the doom. Second day was Dune. Oh. First night, we had chicken, went to bed. Okay. Where's so, your oh, pockets? Right so here. So you used Dune so as Dune the So Dune, the day. popcorn, was the bad okay, meal of the week. Okay, that was the, the bad week. meal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, his continued every day. But we, so we all went there. Daryl's been dying to see Dune too. I'm like, that's a long movie. Let's watch it at home when I it's available. I couldn't wait. I was so excited, bro. You Let's had to see it on IMAX. So it was could, amazing. So we could pause it and go pee. Okay? We got to that movie theater and it was toasty in there. I don't know why we were at the top. We were in the very back row. I also sit down and I'm a snob and go, well, these seats suck. They were so good. It's IMAX. Doesn't it matter great. where you sit, where you sit, except for maybe too close. IMAX. But you like, can't be too far yeah. back. Sometimes you're too close, nauseous, too far back, a lot of heads in your way. But we watched Dune 2, okay, and I'm doing it for my man. He really wants to see Dune 2. So I was like, I'm here for you. Let's give you one. My boy falls asleep four times. I don't know if it was a sugar crash. Or if he was too tired after my long day of radio interviews, but he crashed. Well, he got up. You guys got up early. I think it was he got up at four twenty in the morning that day. And so did I. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I worked all day. Yep. Uh huh. Um, I took you a didn't nap fall after that. You I took, took a nap. nap. I took a nap. You no guys. One else fell asleep. I think you went to the and gym. And he was asleep to the point where I was taking pics with him. You know, he was out cold. <laughs> yeah. But there were again Awkward. a lot of factors involved. Did a lot of sugar. Getting up early. I think it's a sugar crash in my face. Because listen, you're doing all the press. You get that adrenaline rush, right? We're kind of just, I? we're kind of back. I could crash. You know what it's like being on TV at 6 a.m.? No. <laughs> I can't imagine. I'm telling you, you just doing the buzzing, just doing the TikToks. Dude. I go, how do you go on live TV? You have to like be on, my guy. Being on is a <laughs> lot of energy. Yeah, it's impressive. I'm being on right now, I'm so ill. <laughs> so sick. My antibiotics are not working. Yep, and Riley's yeah, just so. screaming in the background. Yeah, I hope Riley, this is even usable. Are you no singing? Idea. He's just playing with his cars. What are you doing? Um, but highly recommend Dune 2. Dune 2 is yeah, a Timothy, masterpiece. Timothy, Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. <laughs> uh, what a guy. He looks so good. I was like, ooh, yeah. skinny hot boy. He's so He gets hot. all angry. He gets I'm like, I'll ah, be mad. Yeah. Um, Zendaya's so beautiful in any situation, and she just looks like she's like the whole so movie. good. Every character she she's plays, I'm like, oh, you're that character. You're that person. Like, I'm never like, oh, it's Zendaya. I'm like, oh, you're you're the you're the person in the movie yeah, or the show. That's like she's she's I hope she wins all the awards. Yeah. Uh, are you creating a story in your head, Baba? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, oh, it looks like it's twinkle oh. twinkle time. <laughs> It's twinkle, twinkle, it's twinkle time twinkle, because you have time. a nap soon. Yeah, you, you do the podcast. podcast. Good job, Riley. And then after Dune, oh, leading ladies. Uh, you were a leading lady. I am a leading lady, and I did a radio show with Odyssey for leading ladies. It was amazing. It was like a Nashville show where we all went up with our with our instruments and we sang each other's. No, you all were singing. We sang our songs. Yeah. 
I think, yeah, it was the greatest thing ever because it was like you're in a girl group and you're all up there together. Yeah. And I loved being like, not take it away, Kelsey Ballerini. You and know? I love like you guys have all kind of different types of songs. And so it'd just be like really hype. And then you bring it down low. So funny, And then it'd dude. be hype again. But I like that. I like that up and down. I, I like that up and down. Because if it's all hype the whole time. We didn't talk about our set list to each other. Right. We're all singing four songs. So El King smacks us with X's and O's. I, and I, I love was that like, song. Dude, everyone starts standing up. They're like, X's and O's. I was like, cool. Sit back down. So I have a sad song about being friend zoned. And no one knows it. Ready? <laughs> Deep cut. I yeah. literally was like, please sit yeah, down. Yeah, you're like, Take a seat. I was at church, like, and you may be seated. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like literally. But I liked it. I liked it. I said, I'm sorry I killed the vibe. I promise I'll bring it back. It wasn't. It was just a nice chill. It was nice. A lot of um sweet young girls were there, and it was like their first concert ever. And I was like, God, I can't wait to go on tour. And then almost at the end of the show, I was like, last song. Thanks for coming. And Kelsey looks at me and goes, you're going on tour. And I was like, Oh, yeah. I'm going on tour and I have an album coming out. And I said everything. So that's what this this trip was, was the announcing of the album coming out tour, the timeless tour that we are going on. Starts September 4th and goes through October. And um, we're, so, we're just starting here, okay? I don't want everyone to panic because there's been a lot of panic online of why aren't you coming to this day? Why aren't you going overseas? Listen. I'm a mother of two. I'm eight months postpartum. I just had this baby. I'm trying to dip my toes and see if we can survive. You know what I'm saying? My kids have never toured. Let me see if they like it. A little test run. I literally called my manager today. I said, why aren't we doing this city? Why aren't we doing Vegas? I know. Oh, Vegas I love is great. Vegas. It's a great show. It's right there. Yeah. And he was like, listen, let's see if you like it. We can always add. Oh. Relax. And I was like, oh. That's that's good news. Touche, Tommy. Touche. Don't tease them too much. No, but... Don't tease them. No, Vegas heads up. Yeah. We ain't coming. But like we could someday, you know. Someday. I want that sure. residency where I fly in, fly out. Far, that's far a down dream. the road. Far right? down the road. Yep. Uh, to go back to the leading ladies uh, night, that was at the King's Theater. Mm -hmm. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. And in, I was yep. practicing backstage being like, okay. Oh, what, what did I say? I was like, New York. And they were like, don't say New York, say Brooklyn. And I was like, that? Aren't we in New York? <laughs> they were like, just trust us. Don't say Brooklyn. And then I said or something. no, say Brooklyn. Or say Brooklyn. <laughs> I was so delirious. I took an Aleve D right before the show and then was like amped. Yeah. Crushed. Um, I, we were, so the where that theater is, super nice theater. It's by Little Haiti, which I didn't really know too much about. But I was like, I'm going to go to an AA meeting. Oh, yeah. That's what you've been trying to say. And I've been stomping on you. This no, no, it's time. okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, before for these shows, I have time to kill. Would go to a bar, literally, immediately, or find a store, buy some booze, and start drinking. Bring it back. <laughs> Fast forward to now, I'm like, let's go on my meeting guide app and find a meeting. I found one 14 minutes away, and uh, yeah, dude, legit. Um, walking there, I walked. I walked fast with purpose. Um, cause it's, it's not in, like a, you know, reasonable area, but a little different than what I'm used to walking around. Like, this is scary. Yeah. It was a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was different. You have soft eyes. Yeah. Different. different. Yeah. Different. But, uh, it was, it was such a awesome meeting. Uh, the lead speaker was great. He spoke for 15 minutes, just like, it's so bizarre for me. Cause I walk into a room like that. And we all we all have very different experiences in life, okay? But we all have the same alcoholic brain. So you connect with these people in a second if you've been doing the program long enough. Yeah. Um, but it can happen. That disease early is on. a real disease. But it's like funny. It's like, oh, you're immediately you're my guy immediately. And it's it's crazy. But yeah, they look at me. They go, hey, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> That's where I'm from. And they're like, they're like, what do you do? I was like, I, you know, like a podcast. Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. You can't be from LA and not be entertainment. I was like, hey, hey, I'm just yeah. in the top for work. Um, but the guy kind of running this whole meeting was like, yo, I like what they do in LA because you you came in here. You announced your name immediately just because there was only four people in there at first. Oh, really? He's like, you came and you sat in the front. Brave boy. 
he was like, they must be doing something right. I can't believe you're doing any of that. I'd be way too much of a baby. <laughs> yeah, you, I walk so in, proud of you. I just walked in like upstairs, little room. <laughs> hi, I'm scared. I go, hi, Ryan, alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> just sat in, sat in the front. What's up? That's why you're gonna be a great actor because I bet you like walking in on a set with all these people is just absolutely terrifying. Yeah, but they're and strangers, like, but at the same time, they're just they're not strangers. It's bizarre. I can't explain. I, it's so hard to explain because they're Maybe in the, like, they're in the program. It's, it's like, just like I know you. I look at you like you. We know, we fucking know. No, I, you know who I have that with? Mothers. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like. I'm at, I, we went to the zoo once years ago when Riley was really young and like we shouldn't have brought him because he didn't give two shits about it. <laughs> and then I saw this mom struggling with two babies and was like sweating. And, and I looked at her and we both just gave each other a head nod. Like, I see you, baby. Yeah. I love you. Like, go through the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> Media connection. Moms. Moms. <laughs> Alcoholics. I, I have friends. <laughs> That are like mom, like famous moms that I just text and we've never met up. And we're just like, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> but yours is different, but I right. feel you on that. Same idea, though. Yeah. Humans coming together with um, similar, experiences. similar experiences in life. Yeah. yeah. Good for was, you. I can't believe you great, did man. that. I, it, I felt immediately better walking in and then walking out. Um, New Yorkers, though, they like to share. They like to talk. New yeah, Yorkers like to that. talk. I, I go to Shug right after. I'm like, great meeting, but, you know, people kind of, they go over the time. They were yeah. given five minutes, and I'm like, it's been 10. It's he goes, been oh. 10. He goes, e East Coast, it's over. Meet and greets. East Coast, they go two hours oh, instead of 45 no. minutes. It's like, people talk. People I know. talk. And for the tour, we're not doing, like, a meet and greet where there's, like, a line and you meet me. Yeah. Just because of the safety of my babies. I can't, like... I can't get sick and then give it to them and then we're traveling sick. Nightmare. You know what I mean? Cerebral is here to help you achieve your mental wellness goals with professional therapy and medication management support 100% online. You'll experience the all-new Cerebral way and an innovative approach to mental wellness designed around you. You'll get a personalized treatment plan from a therapist, prescriber, or both in a safe and judgment-free space. Yeah, I mean, you guys know we're all huge fans of therapy. You got to have someone you, you can talk to that's, you know, unbiased, separate from the family, your friends. You need that one-on-one -on -one time, lay it all out, and they help big time. It's the best. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of therapy. I go every Wednesday. I don't miss it. I love it so much. And we all could use a little support sometimes, you know, especially when it comes to making sure we're taking care of ourselves. And I think prioritizing our mental health is really, really important. And yeah. therapy is kind of the best. So it's the most direct way to make sure that uh, that's actually, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not kind of, Daryl. It, it is. is the best. It's it exactly is. what we're doing. Yeah. So to get started on your path toward better mental health, Cerebral is giving our listeners 15% off their first month of online therapy, medication, or both. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Insane. Get started at Cerebral.com slash podcast and use code working on it to make 2024 your best year yet. That's Cerebral, C-E-R-E-B-R-A-L dot com slash podcast and use code working on it. Offer only valid on monthly plans. Other exclusions may apply. See site for details. My little brother, J Train, is, um, you know, he produces a lot of my music. He's working right now on the intro to the tour, and it already gives me back chills in a great way. He's oh, already yeah, working yeah, on yeah. like heartbeats, like bum bum. He's like, yeah. Do we have dancers? What are we doing? I'm like, Justin, you've never done this before. Why are you asking questions like you know what you're doing? Well, no, he needs to see. Yeah, he's the, like, He needs to we see the scene so we could, out. yeah, so we could be like, what kind he of already, vibe are we going for? Yeah, if you look on my Instagram, there's like a tour teaser to say like tickets are on sale now. And he did the music for that. And the comments are like, oh, my God, I got goosebumps. And and that was his original first attempt of like, hey, let's open the tour with this. And I was like, it's so good. But then we were like, we kind of want to use it for the tour teaser. Um, so now he's starting over. He's just so good at it. I was like, you did that in a day. Go on. I'm hoping that is what happens to me on this tour. I want to thank you again because you're giving, yeah, Justin a first opportunity and myself a, a first opportunity at being on stage. got a lot of faith stage. in you guys. As long as you have a microphone, I think it could turn into a full Q&A with Ryan Trainer. Yeah, a little music here and there. A little music. What do, Justin, remix some songs for you to just play, and they are That's so what I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I want to play those, and I want to play. Like, My brother made this. Blah, you know? Yeah. And then I want to play some just like some throwbacks for 
bangers, people yeah. my age out there, you yeah. know? Um, I got to do, you know, we'll play some of these voicemails. I do have to keep it PG here. You, you have a lot of young kids at your shows, for Yeah, a sure. lot of young kids. You know yeah. what I don't want you to play? Um, who Let the Dogs Out? Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, we can't play that anymore. Yeah, I just found out that means something different. Yeah. I don't know what I thought it meant. I don't know. I but, yeah. I, I think just I just like accepted. I was like, puppies. yeah, don't let the dogs yeah, out. They cause the, a scene. Dude, they're leave, loud and they yeah, yeah, like you'll lose your puppy. Yeah, don't let the keep them keep them in. I heard keep them in the yard. That it's like don't let ugly girls in. Right. What? Don't let ugly girls into the club. They're gonna it's they're gonna ruin our night. That's that's the meaning of who let the dogs out. How dare we? Had no idea. What the? Like, so what can't other, play that. Would have loved to play it. What other songs that do we love as a? Did we love as a child that are now like, oh my god, that's saying terrible things. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, give us a call and let us know. I mean, I remember being like, shimmy, shimmy, cuckoo, pu- pass it to me, <laughs> yeah, 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 and I was yeah, like, what are we passing? Just wrap it Friendships. up. Friendships. Pass it up. French. <laughs> High fives. Light it up and take a puff. <laughs> it's 10 I years vibe old. now, I'm saying. <laughs> Just good vibes. We're passing around good vibes. I think that's vibes. when they started Kids Bop. <laughs> and they yeah. were like, yeah. let's <laughs> change the words. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. funny. Yeah, I'm going to have fun up there, though. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm pumped. Uh, he's also, he won't say it, it's, but he's looking for love. Um. That's Not what on Chris Olsen said. I, I said, said it as a Chris, joke. What are you going to do? He's gonna say, he said, find love. I was like, nah. Not possible. Not possible. Not on tour. I'm going to have fun and I'm going to hawk the shit out of my Twitch and merch. What's hawk mean? <laughs> like, I'm selling up there. I'm like, follow me on Twitch. Click the True. link in my Ryan's bio. going to sell his own merch. So <laughs> on, my, on the website I already That's use. probably the only money he'll make off of this. So <laughs> if you could just support him in that way. <laughs> I said, instead of paying me to film your shit, I'll get up there for free. <laughs> We haven't talked about payment. Um, no, it's just like nothing. <laughs> no, some people lose money opening for tours. I know. I know. I'm very, I mean, and I get to ride on the A bus, and I get to stay in the nice hotels. It's a win, like, win, win for me. Bro. Yeah, everyone's like, "What's your tour look like?" And I'm like, "Well, everything's really expensive, so it's not much. You know, it's yeah. just two months of just let's sing these hits." Yeah, but you're such a good singer, and they're so excited to see you. They Thank just you. want to see you on stage and hang. I'm with gonna you, dance. I'm training like an Olympian. I'm sick today, and I've still trained. Yeah, because nothing will stop me. No, no, unstoppable. Let's get to these voicemails. You're really gonna oh, like yeah. these. I'm trained. They're gonna okay. hype you up for this uh, tour. I promise. Okay, working on it. Hotline six six one four nine one four three six three. Give us a buzz. Give us a call. What are you working on? What are you up to? How are we doing? Tell this? us your secret. The theme of this episode though is like yeah the tour promo the tour. so that's what these voicemails are like but what are, you, what are you working on promo. here we go hey y'all um uh, my name is adrian i'm just calling to say how much i love you can't wait to see you on tour and it's a big deal for me i'm currently crying apologies in advance but um i just got front row tickets for the virginia show with my 11 year old daughter who is obsessed and it's going to be her first concert our first concert together as a mom who Works really hard trying to just be the best mom and do everything for my girl. This is going to be a massive moment for us. I just want to say thank you. Finally, Aww. after so long of not being on tour, super excited. Um, love this podcast, by the way. But right now, I'm just in a moment and needed to share with somebody, and here y'all are. So can't wait to see you in September, and love you very much. Oh, I'm full body too. Yeah, isn't that crazy, bro? We got to put on the best show of our lives. What a we got oh, this. We got this. Oh you mainly God, have Virginia. to do a lot, but we got to do the best show. Like, can you write that down, bro? Huh? I want to. I know, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, these voicemails, bro. We have to save these moments right, and make sure these. we remember. I'm going to send them to Maggie. Yeah, I'm going to send them to Maggie. Virginia, 11 year old. I'll look for a mama and her 11 year old. Adrian, right in the beginning. Let's play. Yeah, and I'll be like, I'm going to shock her. Hey, y'all. Uh, uh, my name's Adrian. I'm- yep, Adrian. Adrian, I'm going to find you. Bro. And I'm going to high five you and your sweet 11. But see, yeah, so 11 years old, like, I got to really tone down. But I do want to learn how to DJ because it would be cool to, like, do what I do, to like get hired by a bar after the show and be like, yeah. come to this if you want to. You have, like, like, your rated R show. You have your PG-13. I, <laughs> right. well, I rated- look at my crowds, and I assess in the moment. Like, okay. that radio show the other night, I know it's radio, but, like, some people were swearing. But I was like, I saw there's a lot of children, and I was like, we know that it ain't real. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you just, like, you you... You take it on, you look at your crowd, and then you make a decision, you know? Yeah, because I'm not raising those kids. I don't, I don't wanna... have a lot of, like, F-bombs in there, but um, 
Southwest Asian. Yeah, I've been, I've been trying. I feel like on these past few episodes, we've been dialing it down on the F the FBI. Uh, F- F- <laughs> <laughs> I have a foul trash mouth. Trash mouth. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't talk. All right. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Here we go, another fun voicemail. I for can you. swear, but I can't talk. <laughs> God damn it. This is for the parents. Hey guys, so I'm here in my office and I currently work in Texas. Uh, I've contacted you guys before. I'm a counselor um, and I'm working in my office and my girls are playing outside. And I just heard Megan's song come out with T Pain. It's so exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. Um, just wanted to let you guys know that all my girls are vibing to it so well. Um, so excited for you to go on tour, Megan. And I'm so excited to see like the whole family out there. Ryan, I'm gonna get there extra early to see you as well. <laughs> and um extra early. Chris too. So excited for it. I'll be there in Texas, probably the Woodlands. Thank you guys so much for the opportunities. Thank you guys so much for doing what you do. Um, <laughs> keep working on it. And um, I appreciate and love y'all. Bye. I appreciate and love See, that's, you. that's when the panic starts to set in. It's panic. like people are going to show up extra, extra early just for me. Yeah, like, so- I got I to gotta really... I gotta pop off. So, here. like you, wh- when I think about you on the show, I think about Dad when he would play at church, mm. and everyone who showed up right at ten a.m., which is n- now I'm like that's so late. But if you if you showed up at ten a.m., Dad would pull me up by the piano and go, "Let's give them a song because they deserve it for being here on time." Ready? And he'd be like, "For all you who showed up on time, this one's for you." And we were performing. And that's what you're gonna do <laughs> every. <laughs> Anyone who shows up early, you get a little fun treat from Rai Rai. He like he's gonna dance. What else are you gonna yeah, do? I'm, I am. I'm gonna work gonna it. Jump. I, like I'm gonna sweat. To have, I'm gonna sweat. Bro. I need you to look like a glazed donut at least. No, no. After I'm going set. to be putting in. What do you 110% got? Like 15 minutes? Of... <laughs> what do you got? 20, 25. I have no idea, bro. It depends on the show. If you got 15 I think minutes. Some that's them... like three songs. <laughs> I think it depends on the show. Okay, yeah. Some shows you get more time. I see. I think one like the ones that Chris isn't doing, it's like an hour. Excuse me. <laughs> no, nothing's an hour. I'm an hour. Oh, that's also my like, big debate with my manager. There's a lot of time. He's like, you're doing an hour and a half. On. I'm like, I will never do anything for an hour and a half. What do you mean? <laughs> He's like, your set is an hour I, and a half. I think we're all going to be surprised with how much time. Time we're up on there? Yeah. Jesus. And you're going to love it in Texas. And we appreciate you. And we love you. Yeah. Especially if they just show up extra, extra early, I'm going to just Anybody be got a question for me? You know what I mean? I don't know if that's, like, entertaining. I think I'll play music. It's going to be, like, a niche amount of people that are, like... Say, put your hands up. <laughs> Say, practice. Put your hands up! That's We're good. here for Megan Trainer. Come on, get a drink. Yeah. I don't drink. You can drink. Yeah. Except for, you know... See, and then I've, I've lost no, it. No, you got it. It's comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I like, gotta get oh, there look at him crumble. <laughs> you know what's nice is we get, like, a few first shows that aren't in, like, a humongous city, I think. I actually think they're in big cities. No, they're all big big cities, yeah. Oh, God. We usually get the kinks out, you know? Yeah, no, like, dude, bro, I'm talking, like, when the door is open, I think I'm out there. Like, I'm about to be hustling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's for real. Yeah, that's not 15 minutes. But, like, as a person who goes to shows, I don't go to, so like, the open, 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 opener. But, lovely, uh... There's no name. Yeah, Wo- Woodland Hills, I have to be prepared. I'm just saying. She'll be there for you. That's what I'm saying. I'm probably going to have like a good, let's say like 30 people I got to entertain up front. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're going to see people walk into the seats too. I need you to be like, walk, walk, walk to your seats. Be careful. <laughs> don't, don't, don't spill your drink. Ah, you know? Oh, that was kind of sick. <laughs> Freestyle rap. Just go nuts, dude. I'll, just we, have hey. like two, what are those caffeine drinks you drink? Oh, Not Celsius? Yeah, have no. two Celsius and go nuts. Have I don't need attack. those, bro. I just need... Life. Iced Americano. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I stopped right drinking now. those sucralose. But, uh, sucralose? <laughs> sucralose is in those yeah. things. It's bad for you. It's bad for you. <laughs> that sucralose is not good. Can you comment below what songs you want to hear on tour, please? No, what there's songs so you many. Play? People would want to hear just like Jonas Bros. And... Stop it. <laughs> They're on tour. Go find them. Yeah, go, I'm talking like old Jonas Bros. Like SOS. Bro, I love a love bug. Love I bug? Love, I love love bug. I, well, I have to play love bug now because Speechless. I'm like. 
over the edge. I'm just breathless. All right, all right. Never that's... thought that I'd get hit, but it's love. All right, for all the I people get... that request that in Twitch, now At you least, get to have it. Do you know those hits? I don't know them. They show Bro, me them, and I pop on SOS. I think it's because right they play them while now. I'm trying to like win a game, and I and I want to smash everything around me. Oh. When you're happy, listen to SOS. Yeah. Right. And my goodness, what a good song. Is that even yeah. what it's called? Okay, play another one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Working on a hotline. We want Jonas Brothers. Just play Camp Rock. <laughs> I kind of wanted to wait for Daryl for this one. Okay, we this can is wait. very, like, VIP experience. This one's kind of funny. Hey, my name is Jacob, and uh, I'm not calling for me. I'm calling for my girlfriend, Carly. Uh, she's too embarrassed. She's right here. <laughs> Say hi to your idol. Hi, Carly. Tell what you just told me. I forgot. Oh, come on. I she, said. She said that she really wants to meet you, and she's seen you on. Are you say you when you do that? <laughs> I really want to meet you, and I would do anything to literally just say hi to you. And and when are you when are you seeing us? I'm seeing you in Hunter on September seventh, and I'm so excited because you are my favorite singer ever and i think you're so beautiful and such a great mom and a wife and you're just awesome <laughs> <laughs> so, is that all you want to say to her yeah i love you <laughs> all right i i may or may not be there as well well i mean if she gets the contact with you i'm just gonna come with you have you'll have my ticket all right say bye bye carly first of all jacob what a guy. Love you. What a good, good friend. boyfriend. It's a boyfriend. Yeah, boyfriend. The lovers. There he is. Yeah, Look at that haircut. He's hit, so hit record on that camera. Um, Carly, I love you. You're so cute. Where are you going to be? I couldn't hear it, but September I can, 7th. Yeah, whatever September 7th Can you 7th write that is. down? Say, Carly. If anything, I'll give her a shout out I'll on stage. I'll keep these tabs you know up like? and I'll write it down. I'll be like, too. hi, Carly. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hi Carly and Jacob I wonder if Jacob's here well now hi, everyone's Carly. just gonna call in like hi my name is Stephanie I'll be at this show please yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah dude call in we'll baby. do it no dude. do it we will write down your name and no, go so here's a years. shout out from the podcast no dude <laughs> I mean listen if they get the VIP tickets here's what you're gonna experience we're gonna make a list did we you talk look, about that, by no, the way? We no, we're waiting for oh you. Oh, my goodness, And I got a nice guys. voicemail to play you, too. That really? That involves the VIP experience. You are so handsome. Stop. The haircut so is much. phenomenal. Well Thank done. You finally so got much. a haircut. Thank you. you so Christopher good. Wayne, my guy. How was your workout? I'm... <sighs> yeah. Yeah, take, here, take a moment. <laughs> no, I did some deadlifts. Riley filled in for you earlier. He did? He did. Yeah. Oh, what a he star. He was really cute. He was. And then he was just playing with his trucks and airplane. It was like, wow, wow, no, crash. And we were like, shh, stop. That's awesome. The okay. VIP experience, guys. The VIP experience. So, Working right. on it, Pod. So Going I told on tour. Them, I told them, Jesus. I told them that I can't do the meet and greets where I meet like 150 people and hug them because I do. No. I take too long because I hug them and I love them and I follow them all on Instagram. But we cannot. I'm. I mean, right li now. listen we to can, you. I know we cannot get sick. Is this because I hugged every single this is, person? This is at from the one show? day, yeah, six in the morning. Yeah. Outside in the cold, I flew on a couple everybody. planes. They were like, I was like, do you want to pick? And they were like, no. <laughs> I was like, well, we're getting a pick, so. You were excited. Honestly, was excited. it was so cute. I kind of feel like it was worth it. You had waited a really long time to see your fans. I know. And they were all standing out there in the cold just waiting yeah. for you. So they were I'll give you a clip. Film that, too. Boom. And you're like, don't ever say I don't do anything for my fans. <laughs> <laughs> Said hi I to every single up. one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. VIP. VIP experience. Huge. On tour. Wait, do it again. Working on a pop. <laughs> okay. VIP experience. Working on it, pod. On tour. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, with the Timeless Tour. The yep. Timeless Tour. Yeah, we're not doing like a full long meet and greet, but we are going to go on stage at Soundcheck. I believe I'm we're gonna... calling it a Soundcheck party. Soundcheck party? Are we yes. on? Let's yeah. do it. I'm going to check one or two songs, make yeah. sure everything's sounding Me and Daryl right. will just dance, I guess. I think oh, you'll yeah. dance. I'll and be then, running around that stage. And then dancing. we'll all get a microphone. You guys should, like, my microphone's blinged out because pop star. Not going to do that. You should get cool microphones. No, don't care. Just give me a regular All mic. right. Then they're going to have microphones, and we're just going to do an episode. We're going to, like, record ourselves, yeah. combine a lot of sound checks together, and make a fat, awesome episode. <laughs> make a big, fat episode. And you, we're going to, like, do Q&As. We're yeah, going to yeah, hand yeah. out you the guys microphone come, to you. you. You guys are a part of the show. It's like the working on a uh, hotline. 
In person, okay? In We're going to hand you a mic. What's going on? Ask us anything. Ask us anything. Yeah, it's so exciting. Don't ask us like crazy stuff. But ask I mean, whatever. Anything. It's a podcast. We cut yeah, it out, we so it's okay. We cut it out, so do as you wish. It's going to be fun, though, because we'll get to share our experience on the road yeah. Yeah. with the family, with the kids. Yeah, oh, we'll there's going to be so you. much to talk about. Yeah. We'll be telling you how we figured out how to bring two babies on, on the road. Yeah, me it's learning gonna... how to DJ. You know what? Yeah. And you know what else is going to be cool is... um. They can ask Q and A's. We could also like see if his soul meets out there and and be like, let's. Uh, do you like walks on the beach? Oh right, like Harry Styles love on tour. This is Megan Trainor's fine, fine love, love on, on tour. tour. I understand. Do for not, you and for Chris. Do Olsen. not purchase the VIP experience <laughs> to be on a date to potentially fall in love with me. me. Okay, no, Ryan let's is not promote that. That is not what we're doing here. Okay, just. But if you want to hang out and be a part of the Working on a Pod live get those experience, VIP tickets, get the VIP we experience. will be there. All I believe three of us. I believe tickets are on sale now. Uh, they are on sale now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel yeah. good. All right, we're just gonna play this voicemail and we'll be done. I promise. Okay. Fantastic. This is a very, very awesome voicemail. It's another one that we're gonna save and remember for the show. Okay? Are you writing these down? Because I just don't see you He's writing got them it. down. He's got They're it. right here. I'm gonna write it down after. You're gonna lose I'm not gonna, gonna, I'm not gonna close it. He stays in here for like a half hour. Yep, hour I gotta download. Doing notes. Let me do my thing. <laughs> Let me do my thing. <laughs> Trust me. Hi. So Sorry. I want to throw up right now because <laughs> I did just spend $500 on the Diamond VIP package from Ooh. the Red Rocks show. Yeah. Um, Red Rocks. Alone. I'm going by myself. Stop That's it. the way to do it. Uh, and I'm just brutally honest. Like I am a huge fan of of Megan. I think she is one of the best songwriters of our time. Megan, your voice is incredible. Um, however, I am doing this VIP package first and foremost for the podcast. Um, and I would say almost that I'm a bigger fan of the podcast. Like, oh again, God, love you. so excited to pop up at the concert. But, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Um, I just would love to see it filmed live. It's This is my SNL. This is my Tonight Show. This is my Super Bowl. So what I'm working on, or rather, <laughs> my question for you is, um, <laughs> this is so embarrassing, will there be a good way to meet other fans and make friends, like, pre-show? Because I literally have no other friends that would relate to wanting to do this experience, but I just couldn't pass it up. Um, and I know the Swifties did like their friendship bracelets or whatever. Uh, I honestly don't really know what happened there. It's not really my audience, but I'd love to meet others sitting near me. I will be in the fourth row, front and center. Um, who are just excited about the podcast in particular. Um, because I have no shame singing and popping off alone during a concert, but Red Rocks is a very intimate venue. Um, and it, it's definitely more fun to pop off with others. So, yeah, I couldn't convince anyone else to go with me, and I would love to meet other people that are just excited as I am. Yes, everyone. <laughs> so, no. let me know. Um, and I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Love you all. I'm so excited to see everyone in October. Mwah. Okay. Wait. She says her name at the end, but we can't put it in there because she said cut it. It's a very unique name. She doesn't want people to know that she spent this money on this thing. Anyways, oh we will make gosh. sure she will She's make all the <laughs> she will make all the friends in that moment because we were going to just yeah. hype the fuck okay. out of her at during this Red Rock. Oh one. yeah, we're gonna call we're her. Gonna we're gonna, gonna call go, her. Out where is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> maybe... See, these are those exceptions where I'm like, you need to come on stage. You know <laughs> Dude, what I mean? Yeah, like... You know what I mean? What yeah. is it? You know what I mean? You be our friends. Like you're, yeah. you're we're you're going your friends there now. solo dolo. Also, everyone said no. Did you ask everyone? Yeah. <laughs> like, what about your parents? Um... <laughs> no, nah, dude, I, I applaud this. I'm here for it. I applaud the honesty. And yeah. also, like, I have been to several shows by myself before I met you. And uh, it's a great time. You went solo? Hell I yeah. Have it. You couldn't ever Hell yeah. Me. It was also, like, a, a, a show where, like, everyone's, like, making out. And I was looking around, and I was like. Pfft. You know what I haven't done in seven years? <laughs> is leave the house by myself. That's yeah, not, well, that makes sense. Not... You're famous. It's whatever. When have I ever gotten a car alone? Think about it. But at least, like, you don't want to do that. It'd be sadder. In if you seven wanted. years, you did it. You've you've done it before, but like, you called me immediately, and you were like, "This was a mistake." Talk to me on the phone because I'm freaking out. I'm alone. Yeah, yeah. I'm driving by myself. <laughs> but you're my hero, and I'm going to grab you and bring you on stage. Yeah, that was aggressive. I just said her don't name. Don't say her name. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. That was so nice. We'll see you at Red Rocks. Yeah, so. I'm getting Botox tonight. What did I miss, guys? 
We've really been just like throwing up anything we have. No, we talked about the trip. New York, great. Yeah, yeah. Riley. She said that you cheated on her with Chipotle. Yes. Just once, just brief. And a grilled cheese and chicken. That's, you don't have to say oh, everything. That's what hurt me. I, it's, it's not that you ate it. It's cool. It's just that you didn't tell me. I know, but you were very busy and I was very hungry. And I didn't want to interrupt your interview to be like, hey, by the way, I'm going to snarf this grilled cheese and <laughs> snarf and chicken fingers. But then some of your team caught me on the floor, just nom, nom, nine. <laughs> Hunched over, hiding. <laughs> I was trying to be quiet because I, guys, I, I chew very loudly. You chew I'm loud. Sorry. That's why I always say, like, let's watch something. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's no, anybody, no, every, no, anyone, no, any no. other anyone. human yeah. Don't blame me for the let's watch something, okay? Well, no, I have an issue and I, I'm addicted to my, to my phone. I wouldn't say issue, but you just prefer entertainment. Yeah. I, the first time I talked to a nutritionist, she was like, do you watch something while you eat? I was like, yeah, I'm a human. And she was like, no, no. You need to focus on what you're eating. Yeah, it makes us eat so she, fast. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, because then you're just numb and you're like, ah, bah, 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 bah. and I was like, oh, oh. I wonder what it would be like to just look at my food and like just eat one piece we, at a time. We did that when we like sat as a family and had dinner. Remember Alex cooked us a meal? J. Oh, Train's yeah. fiance. And it was like, you could hear forks. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're just going through an acid trip. Yeah. Everything's loud. Yeah, everything's everything's loud. loud. It's like, did I eat an What's edible? that fucking movie? The Beach Boys? Yeah. Oh, it's that. Like Mercy. It's yes, that. it's yeah. that moment where he's That's just like. I'm like, should we bomb something off? <laughs> <laughs> should we rewatch the Super Bowl halftime? <laughs> you guys want to sing? <laughs> <laughs> I remember in Cape Cod when we were in high school, we were, for some reason, I have this vivid memory of all of us were there, mom and dad. And we, maybe it wasn't Cape Cod, maybe it was Nantucket, but we sang three bar harmony, like all of us. <laughs> really? We were like, it's this note. Yeah, yeah, and we, yeah, we definitely. Note, yeah. And it was this note. Yeah, straight up like the family from and Justin's uh, like, who? Step Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Was... Um, we were also <laughs> we were talking like, about like, what am I going to do? Megan was like, I think you're only up there for like 15 minutes. I was like, I, I think it might be longer. <laughs> is it only 15 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> she has I don't no know idea. an open, open opener. I, I feel mean, like his is going to be the longest yeah, next to yeah, yours. Yeah, like low key. He's well, like, he's you know, like the first the hour. No, you know why it's long is because when the openers come in, you you're supposed to play in between them. Yeah, so yeah. So you yeah. don't get to like be done. Yeah, you go. I have to come back out for ready more. For Megan I come back and out for you more. Like, inter- like, are you all ready for Natasha Bennyville? <laughs> You're just the hype guy. Are you ready for Paul that's Russell? A big, that's a big role, dude. I've never had a hype guy. Hey, but that the, the idea that I had too was wear a jersey from the city, like that's, whatever, that's whatever smart. sports in there, and I'm gonna take sports. that fucker off after sweating it all night. Sign it. I mean, throw it to a lucky fan. I saw you in the gym today. You are working hard on these abs, and you better show them off. Oh, bro. Well, now I realize the tragic news that uh. effect is all seed oils. I've been poisoning okay, well, myself. Well, let's not bash the company, but yeah. I'm not ba- no, I'm not bashing it. <laughs> no, For no, me no. personally, I've been doing, I've been doing He's got uh, a specific blood tests. cholesterol my, is high. Yeah, my, my CRP is high. Is it because mine of high? Seed oil? Seed oil? Seed oil. Yeah, but for some people, it doesn't affect them as much. But for me, it's like you personally, cook everything yourself, and you gotta yeah raise the animals. Well, I just been be, I've been lazy. <laughs> now I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna get back in the kitchen. You know. No, but on tour, I want a meal I done. Know. Yeah. Pop it in the microwave. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to, like, We're going to figure it out. We're Microwave's gonna it poison. Out. <laughs> I have, I mean, I'll have all these plans for tour of like, you know, what's funny, this. Though? And I know I'm just going to go to the nastiest, dirtiest, like, best. F- yeah, you are. Like, food. Because well, you're in a skinny boy. Um, but I shouldn't. Comment below what you think I should eat on tour. <laughs> Daryl's Help. a good idea, dude. Methodology. That stuff is stinky, too. We'll It'll just, have garlic in it. We just got to see if they ship all over the U.S. That's all. I don't know. We'll figure Does it out. Does anyone know a food company that would help us and send us food? It's just we'll be fuel. Fine. We just need yeah. fuel. We're, yeah. we're going to be great. Um, what else did we... We just talked about the trip and... Um, tickets are on sale now. Tickets on sale. Your tickets for the tour, the timeless tour. The album comes out June 14th. My birthday. Best yeah. birthday right. gift of all time. I mentioned... Oh, wait. Been it's, Like This is out now with T-Pain. It's right. so good. It's so good. Thank I just, you to I all edited. of the radio stations. Thank you to all the radio. It. Yeah, I told them. Serious I sound his one. Everybody. Everybody. Odyssey's playing it. Yeah, everybody. I mean, I Heart. Elvis Duran's playing it. Uh, hey, what were you going to say? I talked about going to an AA meeting in Little Haiti. Oh, yeah. Instead of going to a bar. Uh-huh. used to go to a bar. Now I'm just going to a meeting. Pretty bizarre. Quite the fucking turn of events for Ryan. Wait, you got to clip what you just said because it rhymed and it would sound really good in a DJ song. <laughs> what? Wait. 
What? Went to a meeting. It was pretty bizarre when I used to just go to a bar. Like, <laughs> something you just said was fire. That and was I was good. like, yo. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so good. Put the bottle down. Da, 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 yeah, da, da, yeah. Da, da. Put your hands up and put the, <laughs> the bottle, bottle down. down. Come on. Let's write a sober album, bro. People <sighs> need it. Hear that. People want to get fucked up. <laughs> no, people want to be like, healthy now. I feel People like non-alcoholic <laughs> bars are on the rise. My They're TikTok popping, is about dude. a lot of those popping it's up like in LA. Cool to be sober now. Thank fuck. Day by day. Proud day of you. Day. You want kids? All right. That's been the Thank episode, you guys. guys. <laughs> you are awesome. Working on a pod. Keep doing your thing, everybody. Thanks for listening. Keep working. Thanks for we listening and watching. Daryl, thanks for making it in here. Hey, of course, buy your tickets to the Timeless Tour now. Now, Woo! now, now. Working on pods, going on the tour. Let's do this. Goodbye. <laughs>